I'm starting to think that my body feels it's compulsory every two months to just completely break down. I'm so ill. Hello everyone and as you can tell by the title of this video I'm going to be talking about The Good Immigrant edited by Nikesh Shukla. It's kind of hard to ignore all of the tension that's happening in the world at the moment. Personally I feel like there has never been a more important time to start listening. This book was published by Unbound Publishing which is funded entirely by its readers. So this book exists because people cared enough. This book is a collection of 21 essays from black, Asian, minority ethnic writers. There are stories from some of the contributors about why they moved to the UK, why their parents moved to the UK, and in some cases even why they moved to the UK and then decided to move away again. There are essays, um, there are essays featuring different cultures, the history of different religions, tokenism, racism obviously plays a very big factor in this. I'm going to read the last paragraph from Nikesh's introduction to this book just to give you more of an idea. The biggest burden facing people of colour in this country is that society deems us bad immigrants. Job stealers, benefit scroungers, girlfriend thieves, refugees. Until we cross over into their consciousness through popular culture, winning races, baking good cakes, being conscientious doctors to become good immigrants and we are so tired of that burden. This book really highlights how different people's stories are and that lumping them into various different categories based on their beliefs or what they look like is really just doing those people a disservice. Every single essay in this book is a brutally honest, eye-opening insight into what it means to be judged solely on your skin colour, what you choose to wear, and even in some cases, your name. It's really hard to talk about every single essay individually because there are obviously 21, but there are people from a whole variety of backgrounds, a variety of industries. There are essays from people who are biracial and they talk about the struggles of what it feels like to be stuck between two worlds where you're not considered white but you're not considered black either. What it means to have people assume your religion because of where you're from. Um, stories from contributors who were born in England and grew up through the school system and were in some cases the only black child at their school and how other children interacted with them. For the purposes of this video I picked out three essays that really stood out to me and that's not to say that the others were subpar in every way. Every single essay in this book is fantastic but these were some of the ones that really got me thinking. The first essay that I'm going to talk about is Namaste by Nikesh Shukla who edited the entire collection and his essay focuses on how different words from different languages have been adopted in the UK and their meaning has been changed slightly. So for example, Namaste, the title of his essay, is a greeting that is normally said at the end of yoga in the UK and is associated in our country more with yoga than it is the actual culture that it's from. He addresses things like naan bread when you have a curry and how you're just asking for bread bread and chai tea, you're just asking for tea tea. He even talks about when he went to an authentic Indian restaurant and he saw that they had chicken chuddy on the menu so he pulled the manager aside and said you, you do know that chuddy means pants right? You've got a dish on your menu called chicken pants and this manager laughed at him and was like no, 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 it's, it's an authentic Indian dish that has chicken in it and has these spices in it. And he was like, okay, what makes it an authentic Indian dish? And this manager couldn't answer and walked away. And that is just so bizarre to me that that has become so normal. And that's obviously the main thing that he addresses within his essay. The next one that I'm going to talk about is titled Yellow by Vera Chuck. And she talks about her yellow skin as she is Chinese but she was born in Malaysia. She's had incidences where she has had insults that are China based and also Japanese based. And she points out that how can she be the same thing that are two completely different things and at one point in history were actually at war with each other. 
And similar to Nikesh's essay, she talks about how things have changed over time, how Oriental used to be the term that was linked to people from around where she lived, but now you could go into an Oriental supermarket and find things from Turkey, which is not part of that. She talks about how over the years that term has been replaced with East Asian, and she talks about what it means to be East Asian, given that there are countries that count into that bracket that are actually not within East Asia. And she discusses who it is that actually makes these things a reality. Is it the people themselves or is it the outsiders who are placing that onto them? The third and final essay that I'm going to talk about in this video is Airports and Auditions by Riz Ahmed. Riz Ahmed is an actor who frequently gets stopped at airports and pulled aside to be searched. And he correlates these feelings that he gets when he has to go through these security checks with having an audition for an acting role. And it was a really sad essay to read about how frequently he gets stopped, some of the horrible experiences that he's had, especially as he became more well known for his acting. I think one of the saddest parts of his essay was that he was being, there was one time when he was being searched during one of these checks by a Muslim man who even said to him, while checking Riz over to make sure that he wasn't carrying anything, he says to him, don't worry, it happens to me all the time too. And it's so sad that that's just become so normalized. And it makes me, it makes me angry, honestly. I feel a lot of the times quite helpless and like there's not much that I can do. And like I said, this is a time when we need to start listening. And later this year, I believe, Stripes Publishing are releasing a young adult anthology, again, working with Nikesh Shukla, and it is going to be written entirely by British, Asian, minority, ethnic writers as well, which is fantastic because we need to open doors for those kinds of people so that they can get into this industry and then we can start seeing more things like this. So I believe that this is a really good stepping point to getting messages out there, getting, getting to the point where we're talking about important issues that may be difficult to talk about with family members, but trying to reach some kind of standpoint where we ag at least agree to disagree, if not anything. And is a truly fantastic book and honestly if you are going to pick up any book this year make it this one have you read the good immigrant let me know in the comments below i'm really looking to get into more stories written by ethnic writers so please if you have any suggestions leave them in the comments below for me so that i can check them out and i will be back with a new video soon bye